I speak peace to you right now. Jesus says to you, my peace I give you, not as the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is your kingdom right. The kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but it's righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. I say that you cast your care upon him because he cares for you. That you are careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And you think on those things that are true and honest and just and pure and lovely and of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, you think on these things. It is written that if you keep your mind stayed on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. I call you free from strife. I command the pressure to leave you, the stress to leave you the government is on Jesus shoulder and he is the prince of peace I speak peace to your spirit I speak peace to your soul to your mind I speak peace to your body I speak peace to your family the name of strife has to bow to the name of Jesus I speak peace to your children for it is written great shall be the peace of your children that peace flows like a river that the peace of God is here in this place the peace of God is on this recording. He makes you lie down in green pastures and leads you beside the still waters and quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Be still and know that He is God. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. God says he knows the plans that he has for you. Don't let your heart be troubled. The name of worry has to bow to the name of Jesus. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. The Lord is your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the strength of your life. Of whom then shall you be afraid? I say that there's peace in your home. That tonight when you lay down to sleep, you know that he gives his beloved sleep. Take no thought for tomorrow, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Fear not, little flock, it gives your Father good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Consider the lilies, how they do not toil or spin, and yet Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed as fine as they are. For he knows what you have need of even before you ask. God will take care of you. God is perfecting that which concerns you. And all the worry, all the stress, all the anxiety, has to go. I curse the spirit of fear and I lose peace. Peace. The peace of God like a river. The peace of God like a river is flowing in this place. Just lift your hands up and welcome the peace of God. Christ is Lord, there is nothing to fear, for Jesus is here.